We're chewing the fat with Rashina Campbell from the Melbourne City Council and Oliver Peterson, 6PR Drive, host in Perth. And uh, Oliver, a couple of yarns in Perth I want to run by you. One is this shocking vegan protest at Tash Peterson. I hate to give her any <laughs> credibility, but her campaign against this fire restaurant is really commercial terrorism. She's trying to drive this restaurant out of business. Here's some of the latest developments. The sounds of squealing pigs. <laughs> breaking point for this Perth restaurant owner. John Mountain confronts vegan activists outside his fire restaurant before he's tackled by an undercover security guard. It's good that she's fighting for a cause, but to be honest, I'm the wrong person to fight with. It's not working. He was just throwing me around completely. Quite a chaotic experience. Oliver, what's the what's the Australian government doing about this? Because th th this is not just a protest. This is like, as I say, commercial sabotage. If there's not laws available already, they need laws so that you can't do this. Specifically, target one business and effectively try and drive it out of business. Absolutely, I agree with you wholeheartedly, Chris. And we're getting to the lines of bullying and harassment and standing there. Nobody wants that experience. I mean, the only thing at the moment going for John Mountain is the fact that bookings are. Off the chart. You know, right. The community is getting behind John and supporting him and fire restaurant. But uh, he, he, over this, his marriage has broken down over this, right? Because of his reaction here. So I can't believe that Tash can continue to get away with this. She's, you know, making forty thousand dollars a month. That's been reported uh, with some of her work online through OnlyFans and the like. She's getting lots of publicity for the vegan movement. Great, but you know, we're not going to go and tell people what they should go and eat tonight. I'm going to have lamb and watermelon salad. That's my choice. I don't care what she's going to eat tonight. But let those people dine in peace, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know whether they have some sort of order to keep her away from that or whatever, but it's, uh, it can't be allowed to stand.